What up, M Squad, and welcome back to the channel today, you guys. I am going to be doing a story time. Okay, so this is my first time ever doing this type of story time on the channel. So, I hope that y'all enjoyed this. And if you are new to the channel, welcome. Glad that you're here. Okay, sometimes we be lit. Sometimes we just be doing all kind of other little stuff. But... Thank you to all my new supporters. Thank you to all my supporters that have been here from day one. I really appreciate you guys. Thank y'all for holding your girl down even though I wasn't consistent. You know, consistency is an issue with me and I am definitely trying to work on it. Okay. So, you know, I've been having all these ideas and I'm like, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And then this is like, dang, something comes up. And I'll be like, ugh, I'll be so over it. And don't want to do no content. But this is what I like to do. I get happy when I do these type of videos. And just any type of video that I do and I upload. I am currently working on editing my last video. You guys, I had all kind of good edits in there. And for some reason, it did not go through. And I'm like, what's going on here? Okay? So, just be patient with me. I'm trying to work on this editing thing. I've been learning some new things, trying to implement some new editing ideas in there. <laughs> we working on it. Well, I'm working out the kinks, okay? But um, thank y'all for all y'all support. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. But if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you are watching this video. What are you waiting for? Just hit that little red subscribe button. And make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And make sure you leave a comment or two. And let me know that you're here, that you're watching okay but anyway today's story time is when i went to jail yes you guys your girl over here <clears throat> yes i've been to jail i could have been a couple of times but thank god he had grace upon my little soul he seemed fit for me not to go to jail again okay but <clears throat> i went to jail this is about a couple of years this is when i had my daughter she was like a couple of months old at the time and it's just like uh but anyways I went to jail. So this is a lady that I went to church with, been knowing for a couple of years. Her and her husband was going through a nasty divorce. They had a child together. It was a hot mess, you guys. So my ex-sister-in-law, <clears throat> she didn't go to jail. She just like, listen, I ain't got time for the foolishness. But me and the girl that I was supporting, her and her mom, all of us went to jail. How we found out is... I was staying with her um, for a little bit. And then the police had came to her house. And they said she had a warrant out against her arrest. And her mom was there. There was like a warrant. A warrant out against her arrest. But the mama didn't know that she had a warrant. It was just they came for the daughter. Who I was supporting. We went to church together and all that. The mom didn't go to church with us. So, um... They came and arrested her, and she was like, what? Well, I got a warrant out for her arrest for So they basically told her. And I said, okay, let me look and see if I got a warrant out against me. So I went on the little site, and lo and behold, I had a warrant out against me. So I called my mom. I called my daughter's grandmother on her dad's side and I was like, can y'all watch her? Can y'all watch Janaya until I get this situated? I'm about to go turn myself in because I don't want the popo -po coming looking for me. I'm too beautiful beautiful for that i'm too beautiful for y'all to come to my house looking for me and resting me in front of my daughter in front of my family ain't nobody got time for that so i'm too cute for that okay too cute too beautiful for that but anyway so i went to turn myself in i had just did my hair y'all i had just did i don't know if y'all know when they had like the doobie ponytails like the doobie ponytails that came out I used to do mine flawless, okay, with some pump it up spray. And I was looking cute. Had bobby pins in my head to hold up my little doobie ponytail. And I'm like, so when I got there, they put the handcuffs on me. I'm like, I'm already here. Why y'all got to put handcuffs on me? I'm turning myself in as if I'm going to go and run while I'm in 
I'm not about to run for y'all to shoot me in my back and come and slide, slam me and all that stuff. Ain't nobody got time for that to be in walls and stuff like that. So they put handcuff on me and I was asking them, is this necessary? I'm already here. <laughs> You're going to go fingerprint me. I'm not running. I'm not running for y'all. <laughs> for y'all to put y'all hands on me? No, I'm too beautiful for that. Anyways, so they put handcuffs on me anyway. And I'm like, are y'all serious? So, they fingerprinted me, and, you know, they touching all over me. Ain't nobody want that. And then, not only than that, they did all that in the midst of men. And those men were sitting there gawking at me, looking at me, whistling, stuff like that. And I was just looking at them like, Ugh, like that, just like that. Okay? So, they had to make, I, so I had to take down my doobie ponytail in front of all those people. And you know I was pissed off because I was looking beautiful and cute and slim at the time. Like, why is y'all making me take out my bobby pins in front of these people? So I had to go take my mugshot. I was like, y'all could have waited until um and to take my picture when I had the doobie ponytail in. Don't have me take my picture with that little small ponytail in my hair. Well, I had a lot of hair, but my little my little ball at the top, like. Why is y'all making me take my picture like that? <laughs> so, I should have crossed my I should have made it look like I was cross-sided when I took that picture. But anyway, so, I went through that process, fingerprinting, and then, um, they put me in the cell. But really, I wasn't like in the cell. I was like in this little holding room, but it didn't have, they had a door, but they didn't lock the door. I, I was free to go to make the call because I told them to make the call. And by that being my first time, I only stayed for like a couple of hours. But they gave me this tray, y'all. Let me tell y'all something. When you go to jail and go to prison, the food is terrible. Okay, so I was sitting on this bench, and Big Bertha Becky, uh, that's what I'm going to call her, Big Bertha Becky, was sitting right next to me asking for my food. I gave her the whole tray. Okay, sit, listen, Big Bertha was too big for me. I gave her the whole entire tray. I didn't want that powder juice that they gave me talking about it's fruit punch. I said, no, it's powder juice. I gave her the bread because that's what she asked for. I'm up there thinking like, okay, this is another life going on. This movie called Life when they was asking for the cornbread. Like, listen. Like, that was just, it was too much. Too much. I told Bertha, I said, hey, Bertha, you can have this whole tray. She was smiling and everything. She was hungry, you guys. I guess whatever they fed her earlier wasn't hitting it. So she came and asked for mine. I gave her the whole tray. Proudly, I said, you know what? I'm not going to eat nothing in here until it's time for me to go. I don't want no water. I don't want no handshake. I don't want nobody around me. Thank God I didn't have to sit in the cell with nobody else. So I made my calls. I called my mom. I called everybody just to let them know, hey, I'm okay. Come to find out the real reason why we got locked up. Oh, so my friend that I was, let me back this up. So my friend that I was supporting at the time. Her mom came in after me a couple of hours. I guess her mom was like, listen, uh, let me go get some things in order. Let me get some things straightened out first before I go turn myself in. I was like, listen, when I seen this, the my friend that I was supporting at the time go turn herself in. And when I found out that I had a war, I ain't had time to be sitting here. Oh, ha ha, chee chee and kiki and, and, and sitting back because y'all was not about to come and get me in public or come to my house. No, ma'am. No, sir. Okay, so I said, let me go turn myself in. She came a little bit later. This was like on a Friday. And you know, normally on Fridays, if you go to jail, if you don't be released that night, you will not be released sometime until Monday. I said, listen, I got things to do. I have a daughter. I am not about to be sitting here till no Monday. Y'all are going to release me in a couple of hours. And that's exactly what happened. I got released within a couple of hours. So came to find out my friend and her ex, my friend that I was talking to, her husband, her husband that she was, because they were still legally married, okay? 
They was having battles going back and forth to court and custody court and child support and spouses support. I didn't go every time, but there was a couple of times that I did go and my ex-sister-in-law, we went there just to support her, to show her support and her mom. Come to find out the woman that he was talking to, you guys, <coughs> excuse me, she put out a warrant against us. I was like, listen, I don't know you and don't want to know you. Whoever he talking to, that's his business. And then, get this. So the job that I was working at the time, she put down that I harassed her. And the number that she put down that I called her from was my work number that you call in to let them know that you're going to be either arriving late or not arriving at all. So she put down an attendance hotline number that I call her and harass her. How am I going to call from my job from an attendance hotline? That's an 800 number that you call in to let them know if you're going to be at work or not. It's not a number that you can dial out from. Like, make that make sense. So, we end up having to go to court, you guys. And we seen her. She just talked, 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 talked. The judge was like, okay, you can sit down. Let me hear from the other people, the other witnesses. And I told that judge, I said, judge, let me let you know something. This is my first time ever seeing you, and this is going to be my last bit time seeing you and Big Bertha, okay? Listen, look at the paperwork. I never harassed this lady. I don't know her, don't know her name. I don't even know her telephone number. The number that's on this paper that she claimed that I call her from is my job attendance hotline. You can only dial into the number. You can't call out. You can only call out if you're going to be late or if you calling out from work. I can't call and pick up the phone because first of all, I got to be at work. So I wasn't at work, apparently. Okay. You can't call out from that number. So, lo and behold, the judge dismissed the case. I, I was like, eh. <laughs> that's exactly what I did. I was like, eh. listen. So, the judge dismissed the case. He said, Miss, you have no case. You don't have no basis to sit there and have them to be in jail for some foolishness because you don't like his, his ex-wife. Keep it cute, lady. Like, why do why do some of our women do that? Okay, you are seeing this man. He is still legally married, number one. He's not even free to be yours, number two. And you inserting yourself in a situation that does not have nothing to do with you. You know what? I have learned a lot from being in that situation. Me and the girl, we are no longer cool because it's a whole different story time. Something that I can't tell. But listen, I learned my lesson that <laughs> you don't want to see Big Bertha in the jail. You don't want to see that red powder juice that they call juice. Okay? And that thick bread. The bread. so thick it looked like five pieces of bread put together like they super glued the bread together that's how thick that bread was i was like who in the world will want to digest this okay your sapho glands ain't gonna be working after that it ain't you just gonna be toe up your stomach gonna be toe up and you just got to go see a gastro doctor after that eating that bread but anyways, you guys, I learned my lesson. You know, you just can't. Um, sometimes it's best to support people from a distance. Yes, it really is. It doesn't play to be in other people's business. Sometimes it's best to just leave them alone. Talk to them while you're at the home. You know, sometimes it's not good to go show up to support the people at court. Sometimes it depends on the situation. But I tell you, when you got some vindictive people around, it's best to just keep your mouth closed. Mind the business that pays you, which is your business, okay? But yes, guys, I just had to get on here and tell that little story because I'm like, this is just crazy. Like after, and then let me add this to y'all. So after.
after we got out of court, this little chick want to sit here and want to get all rowdy. I said, listen here, lady. Now, this judge just dismissed this case. Don't let me catch a case at the courthouse. And they read, the, they get us in this courthouse and create a whole, a whole nother case. We don't want to do that. Go on with your man and go on with your life and be happy. Y'all together. I'm not in this with y'all. Okay? I ain't got nothing to do with it. I'm here to support my friend like a friend should. Okay? Don't let me catch another case in here. And the bailiff was right there. He was like, you heard him? <laughs> I was like, listen, bailiff, you hear her? Go lock her up. She trying to have us to catch another case out here. Ain't nobody got time for that. Okay, I'm too cute to be going back to jail. If anybody need to go to jail, she need to go to jail for falsifying information, telling, saying that we got, we was harassing her child. I don't even know you. But anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this video, this story time. And if y'all want to do me to do more story times, just see, leave a comment or two. Let me know. <laughs> I will do some more. It's a lot of crazy stuff out here. A lot of things that I have seen and experienced and heard, you guys. Okay? But like I said, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Share, share, share. And make sure you go check out all of our other social media platforms. Also, make sure you run over to our family gaming channel, Rich Dicks and Family Gaming. Support them on YouTube and Facebook. All of their links will be in the description box down below of this video. And stay tuned. Make sure you turn your notification bell on so you'll be notified when I upload new content to the channel. Alright, you guys. I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.